Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Layman Gaming Show with special guest Michael Oxlong, Benjamin Dover, and Michael Hunt. Hello, everybody! I have something very special for all of you today. Not just one big boy, but two big boys, okay? Two big boys to show you today. Now, we did the unboxing of the Xbox Series X yesterday, but we are gonna be doing now the PS5, the bigger boy, today, okay? After the drop, let's get into this, see what this big boy looks like. Let's have a look! Oh, that was a bit quick. That was a quick, that was a bit quick how we actually cut that. Okay, so we're gonna come back to this. We're gonna come back to this. This will be probably 10, 15 minutes at most today. It's not gonna be a big show. I wanna show you the new console, compare it with the current one that I've, or current one, the next gen that I've actually done yesterday. We're gonna have a look at it. We're gonna have a chat about it. Then I'm gonna play some games on Facebook later. If you wanna join me, I'd love to see you there, but that's entirely up to you guys, okay? So first things first, how sexy, how beautiful. Oh, mm. 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 I'll wait until you guys are left. But uh, firstly, the back, cool. Play like never before. Lightning speed, breathtaking immersion, stunning games. Very nice, okay. On the side, we just kind of just see more of the console. I'll try and get it into focus so you guys can see that. I think we had an issue with that uh, yesterday. On the other side, it just says PlayStation 5. Very minimalistic. On the top, it's just blue. It's just blue, and it's the wrong way around for you guys. It's just blue. On the bottom, it's just the same thing. You're not really seeing anything gigantic on here. One thing you're not seeing is not uh, a God of War on here and then saying it was gonna be a launch title that it was actually pushed back. You're not seeing that like you are with good old Xbox. So uh, there's the, maybe they purposely didn't put any IP on the front just in case it was in fact pushed back. Because if it was, that'd be very awkward. Hello, Xbox. Okay, enough of that. Now I do have a zoom mode here too. So we're gonna try and do some zoom modes at certain moments to try and show you as much as possible. I keep doing that all the time with the, with the intro. We don't want the intro again. All right, let's open this baby up. Oh, let's undress you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm, now it's a really big boy. So we'll start with the other contents first and then we'll go into the actual console. So for now, we're just gonna put that there for now. And we'll come back to that big boy. This is the contents that you get outside of the actual console. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. You get a manual, as we said yesterday, who gives a shit about manuals? I don't care about manuals, never read them in my life. That's why I don't, I don't know how I've uh, survived operating heavy machinery, but I am still alive today. Manuals, cool, seven different languages or something. I don't know, let's be real. There is the USB-C. Now this has now gone to USB-C. We are seeing more and more controllers do that. The, uh, the Elite controller with Xbox uh, already takes a USB-C. It seems like they've now finally made the jump and made this a USB-C. So that is going to be the cord connecti connecting the controller. We'll get to the controller in a moment. There's also the figure eight. Let's do the, uh, the zoom in there. There's also the figure eight there, so you can see that. That's what connects directly into the console. The power supply is inbuilt into the console, not just like the original Xboxes, which had that gigantic brick that could kill someone. What else we have? 2.1 HDMI. There it is, it's beautiful. It's all beautifully wrapped. It's a 2.1, it can go up to 120 FPS. This is going to be the next gen of HDMI. Um, and great. Why not? Why not? Now, this is the most beautiful part, I think, of the new console. You guys ready for this? Isn't this just a beautiful design? Let me just undress you. Beautiful design. Oh, love the stand. The stand is ugly. You understand? It is ugly. It's an eyesore. Very, very eyesore. So this is the beauty. This is the beauty about the Xbox. If you want to put it on its side, you see, you don't need to unscrew anything or do anything. You just go like this. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? 
Oh, that's so easy. PlayStation, why didn't you do that? Okay, why do I have to unscrew things to put my PlayStation on its side? Anyway, that's the side, that's the thing that you put under it or on the side to support it. That's the stand. On top of that, we also got the controller. Now, this is next gen controlling, okay? It is next gen controlling. As we said uh, in the uh, video that I did the other day, it's really kind of changing the game by five or 10%. Not a gigantic amount, but enough to really make you feel like you are getting a little bit more of an experience. And I think that from the experience we had with just the demo, this controller is going to turn a lot of eyes at Xbox. They're gonna to have to go back to the drawing board and figure out exactly how they can compete with this. A lot of people that are already not sure what game they wanna play, they, might, they, they may buy both consoles. They may play uh, the haptic feedback on this. They may feel this controller, the new technology inside of it. And that will maybe dictate some people in terms of the choices they make with the games. It's that cool. Now, also with this control, there's tiny, we're not gonna be able to see it here. There's, wait, not that, there we go. There's tiny little X's and squares and circles inside. I can't even see it right now, let alone you guys. It's not gonna happen. But that's, that gives you the, the, uh, the grip, the grip on this. Now, I don't believe these actually um, light up. I don't believe that these four will light up. Oh God, there we go. I don't believe that those, uh, those four buttons light up, um, but it is very beautiful. I love the design. It's a bit chunkier. I'd say it's a bit more of a thicker, chunky monkey. Uh, I, I expect this to come in a little bit more expensive. I'm not exactly sure if it is. Uh, there's of course the mute button in the middle. There is going to be an inbuilt microphone in the middle. You can mute or unmute. Uh, but overall, I really like the feel of it. It does feel a bit bigger. It does feel a bit, I wouldn't say higher quality, but just sturdier, as I said in the video the other day. Just sturdier. Uh, and I'm excited to play many hundreds of hours on this console, on this controller. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. Let's get to the big boy himself. Let's get to the big boy himself. All right, so this is a pain in the butt to take out. Let me just start there. <sighs> Oh, all right. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, this is what the packaging, it's all I think biodegradable or recyclable or something. It's something like that. It's good for the planet. That's all that matters, okay? PlayStation has officially become greenies, okay? Very nice though, that's very good. So. We'll get this out of the packaging quickly for you guys. There we go. So, ooh. That's the packaging that it comes in. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Now, it's getting a bit busy here, so let's just move this all away. And make a bit of room just for us to chill with this. There we go. Okay. Now, as we see, that is it, people. That's the control next to it. That's the front. That's the control next to it. That's the side. Very nice. Very sexy. That's the top. Um, but I think this is also going to collect a lot of dust and maybe some fingerprints, like the Xbox Series X did when we did the unboxing yesterday. There's the back. This also has a disc tray. This is the disc version. On the front, I should say also there's a USB-A. A USB-A. Let's see if I can get this. God, this is a bit... Uh, there's a USB-A and a USB-C in the front there. There's also uh, the eject button and the power button. And on the back, on the back, there's a LAN. There's two USB-As. There's HDMI and the power cord. That's what it looks like. Now, PlayStation 5, as you know, is going to allow you to put different um, types of face plates on here. They're customizable. Uh, they'll be released on the 12th of November at the same time, I believe, as this console launches. Now, I won't take it off today, but I think there's a way to like easily take them off. Now, I won't do that today because I don't want to destroy the console without actually re-watching that um, PlayStation experience where it kind of shows you how he did it. But what I want to show you now is the Chain, uh, the uh, comparison between both. There we go. Whoo, baby. 
There we go. Now you can see what they look like. That's the difference. This is a bigger boy. This is a thicker boy. Okay, it depends on what you like, long or thick. It really, really, it really does depend. But uh, you know, they look beautifully. I personally like the Xbox more. I just like the design of it. It's very, uh, I don't know. There's something so simplistic about it, but strong, very strong. I like the strong about it. Where the uh, PlayStation looks a bit more futuristic, or trying to look futuristic from the 90s. This feels like this should have like you know something something 2000 next to it because it's trying to sound all futuristic and very cool. I like the simplistic design of the Xbox, um, and I'm excited hopefully for Xbox to have a really good generation. We know that PlayStation had a fantastic generation, strong exclusives, very strong player base, uh, and year on year we just saw fantastic titles over and over again. Where Xbox. Not so much, not so much. And we of course uh, uh, found out today that there's also some more dire news for Halo Infinite. Uh, so who knows how that game's gonna go. But I really hope that this is actually a good, uh, a good generation for Xbox. As I said the other day, look, it looks, uh, yesterday, it looks like it's lighting up, but it's in fact just been painted inside. Um, but I, I do actually like, let's look at the back too. Uh, I do like the way that it kind of always looks like it's lit up at the top. I think in the future they will do other things to, you know, LEDs in the top or whatever to you can customize it or whatever. I'm guessing they're going to do all sorts of stuff like that. But um, I think a lot of people are really hyped for the PlayStation 5. Of course, there's a lot of people that are also hyped for the Xbox. But I would say that this is probably a little bit more hyped at the moment I'm seeing. Um, so there it is. There it is, everybody. That's the comparison. That's what they look like. That's the unboxing. The unboxing that I did yesterday, you can check out for the Xbox. But that's what they look side by side. I'm really excited to actually start playing this and jumping in uh, and playing some gummies. I will probably do some sort of impressions or talk about this product in the coming you know, weeks or two when I've played a bit of it. And I'll do maybe a little bit of a review of it. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe, all that kind of YouTube stuff. Uh, but guys, thank you all so much for tuning in today. We clocked that in at 12, 13 minutes. Beautiful. I told you it was going to be a little bit smaller today. We'll return to news next week. I just wanted to do unboxing this week. It's all about the next gen this week, really, because we did the um, playing the PlayStation 5 on uh, Wednesday or so. And then since then, we've just been doing unboxing after unboxing. Tomorrow, we're doing Switch 2 unboxing. You, know, you guys don't know about it yet, but it is a thing. But guys, I will be continuing to play now on... Facebook, on Facebook. So guys, everyone on YouTube, thank you all so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. I will see the YouTube people very soon. Facebook, to stick around. We're going, to play, we're going to be playing some Warzone today. I'm very excited. I will see you in just a moment after I put this all away.